Well, good morning, everyone. We come back together this Friday morning for scripture reading and prayer. We pick up um, this morning in Psalm 18, verses 25 through 29, but I'm going to back up and read 20 through 24. The Lord has dealt with me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands. He has rewarded me, for I have kept the ways of the Lord. I'm not guilty of turning from my God. All his ways are before me. I have not turned away from his decrees. I have been blameless before him and have kept myself from sin. The Lord has rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands in his sight. Now we come to the specifics of how God rewarded David and how God rewards us. Psalm 18, 25 through 29. To the faithful you show yourself faithful. To the blameless, you sow yourself blameless. To the pure, you show yourself pure. But to the devious, you show yourself shrewd. You have hum- you save the humble, but bring low those whose eyes are haughty. You, Lord, keep my lamp burning. My God turns my darkness into light. With your help, I can advance against a troop. With my God, I can scale a wall. How did God reward David? Now, you have to probably read back over that on your own. But how did God reward David? How does God reward us? Well, as we work our way back through verses 25 through 29, God rewarded, God rewards in equal and or in abundance to how one behaves. God rewards according to character. Think about that. God rewards according to character. Verse 25, God rewards faithfulness with faithfulness. God rewards blamelessness with blamelessness. Verse 26, God rewards purity with purity. Verse 27, He rewards the humble with salvation or safety. Verses 28 and 29, God rewards all the above by keeping one's lamp burning, turning the darkness into light. And he will reward with personal spiritual strength, a strength substantial enough to aid metaphorically in scaling a wall. That is strength. Verse 26, subsequently, God will also reward the devious, the twisted, the perverted, with sharp judgment. Verse 27, in his sharp judgment, he will bring low or bring down the puffed up or the proud. Well, as children of God, aren't you glad? Aren't you glad that God rewards us based on character instead of based on what we deserve? Rewarding character Today, I really want you to think about character. So, regarding character, what I'll leave you with this morning is this. In and of our own character, we should expect nothing. No rewards. But because of what Jesus did on our behalf, His righteousness imputed, accounted to us, we take on His character, Christ-likeness. It's the character of Jesus working itself out in us, which affords you, which affords me, the choicest reward, a loving relationship with God and an eternity in heaven with Him. That is our ultimate reward. Let's pray together, and I just pray that today you you think through, you think about Christ's character working out in our lives. Of course, that is by the power of the Holy Spirit. In and of ourselves, we deserve nothing, but we are imputed, we are accounted um, with Christ's character. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for the beauty of today. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Thank you that His righteousness is imputed. His righteousness is 
on our account. When you look down, Father, however you do that, you see Christ. We are clothed in His righteousness, His holiness, His purity. We thank you that we have Christ's character. Lord, help us to live today in a way that will exemplify His character in and through us. Father, thank you for the way that you're going to use us today. Thank you for the ways that you're going to encourage us today and challenge us today. Father, we love you. We praise you, exalt you, we magnify you. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a great Friday going on into the weekend, and I hope uh, to see all of you, if not a good number of you, together Sunday morning uh, for Bible study at 10 and then worship at 11. Uh, Bob Adams will be teaching the sanctuary class, and then, of course, Edwin will continue leading the other class. The other class is is moving from the North Foyer into the six-room suite, so if you've been a part of Edwin's class, please note the change and let other people know in your class about the change. Some people don't get the call one. Some people don't listen to them. Some people aren't in the loops that we have in place. So make sure that you contact your classmates and let them know of the change from Edwin's class moving from the North Foyer into the six-room suite. And then, of course, Bob will be leading the other class in the sanctuary. Well, again, I love you all. You all have a great day.